y'all what's up my name is Sonali welcome back to a new vlog I'm finally back home and honestly I'm a bit stressed because I have like a home vlog I was filmed after Thanksgiving and then I have six days of New York vlog content to edit <laughs> and then of course I'm filming another video because I don't know why because I'm freaking crazy but I'm also doing fun things so I want to film them for you guys but I feel overwhelmed when I keep filming things and I don't have time to like edit all of the other stuff if that makes sense um but we are back home in austin ryan is here for just like a couple days basically i have the companion pass for southwest so he can fly for free if he's with me and i was like you should just come back to austin for a couple days drop me off and you know go back to atlanta because <laughs> i just hate flying alone honestly um and so that's what we did he's leaving tomorrow ryan did you book your flight yeah. what time is it what time is it at? <laughs> okay, check, because I have, um, I think I have a shoot tomorrow and I have to be at the hair salon early. Anyways, <laughs> um, New York was super fun, but I wanted to give you guys my honest review before we, you know, jump into the at home in Austin content, because um, everyone's like, oh my God, New York looked so fun. Like, how was it, blah, blah, blah. I think we did like such fun things and it was really really fun but I'm starting to realize this year that I don't think I love traveling because I really just like to be at home and I wouldn't even say I'm a homebody because when I'm at home like I you know love to go out and like be with my friends and do fun things but I like to be in my routine and like obviously have my stuff in my places like I hate living out of a suitcase and the worst part about New York was that the Airbnb was so small which doesn't mean I don't recommend it. I will definitely try to put the Airbnb link on my um, New York videos because like it was in a such a good location and it was probably the cheapest thing we found. Um, so definitely recommend that Airbnb, but like New York, I feel like all of the Airbnb slash hotels are freaking small. So even if we paid like a thousand more, I don't think it would be really that much bigger. And it didn't have much storage at all. You probably saw in my New York vlogs that my stuff was just laid out everywhere. And every time I would come home, it would stress me out. Not that we were like home for long periods of time, but that is one thing i didn't really love about new york also i thought that christmas would be thrown up all over new york like christmas everywhere and just like you would always feel that magical christmas spirit almost like in disney world that was not the case and i really thought going to new york would put me in the christmas spirit because i feel like these past couple years i haven't really been in the christmas spirit and it didn't really it didn't really do much so that kind of made me sad um, and I feel like we did like a good amount of Christmassy things. Ryan told me that he was nervous for me to go to New York because he thought that I would want to move there. And honestly, it's such a cool place to visit. And I wish I could be that girl to live in New York, but I'm absolutely not that girl because I love the conveniences in my life. New York is probably so inconvenient for so many people. Like, for example, you have to like take the subway for so many like minutes to go to Target and then you can't even get everything you want because you have to carry it all in your hands and also the laundry situation and there's just so many other factors that I could never really see myself you know doing and I'm just so thankful and grateful and and so comfortable in my Austin apartment. So that's my overall like view on my trip. I mean, like I said, we ate such good food, did such amazing fun things. And I'm so, so happy that I got to see my friend Lara. I think that was like obviously the highlight of my trip, spending so much time with her. Like it sucks so bad to like have that little teaser of being with your college friends again and then having to leave them because it just feels like we never left each other we just pick up right back where we you know left off so i'm really really happy i got to see her and that was like pretty much the main reason for going to new york but i also always wanted to go during christmas so it was really fun but i'm just glad to be back home glad to get back into my routine for like a week because then i'm going home again through new year's eve um but i'm just going to try to work a lot because i think that was the other thing that was stressing me out i didn't really have a desk situation so i didn't really touch my computer at all and then also another thing to bring up is that i thought i was gonna make so many tiktoks in new york and like film all this cool content 
and i feel like when you're on the go like even if you prepare and like save tiktok save sounds you want to be like more in the moment and enjoy like you know new york and your trip and stuff and you don't want to think about content so i did do like tiktok vlogs every day so if you guys want to go see that um definitely go on my tiktok it's so underscore gnarly without the g but i think i was just stressed out that i wasn't like doing enough um but i sometimes have to remind myself that that was like literally my vacation so anyways this morning i woke up bright and early because my stomach woke me up <laughs> I was gonna go back to sleep, but then I decided to just like get ready and we did the laundry last night So I folded and put away everything and cleaned up the bathroom. That was a disaster So I think the house is finally You know all good to go. Everything is unpacked, which makes me feel so good And this morning I have a shoot at 10 a.m. With one of my blogger clients since I'm like not home for majority of December We're just gonna shoot for two hours um today i need to edit a lot today so that is definitely going to be one of my priorities and my dad is on this like ag1 kick you know athletic greens and i've definitely heard of that but i wanted to get these greens before we went to new york because i was worried about like my energy levels um and i thought that these were going to be like travel packets so it wasn't <laughs> it was like the powders in here and there's like a little scoop and so I didn't end up taking it in New York at all because I, you know, the place was so small. I didn't really have like water bottles anyways. So first day trying it, it doesn't really taste like much, honestly. I thought the flavor was going to be a lot stronger. And um, I didn't get Athletic Greens because I tried to look it up on Amazon and I don't think it was like prime. And I wanted to get it before New York and didn't even end up using it. But maybe I'll try Athletic Greens after I finish this. I'm not like a health guru in any way so i don't even know what to say about these greens but basically i just like i said i've heard that it helps with your energy and just gives you a lot of nutrients and i just really need to get back into like the health grind and i feel like i go into phases a lot where i'm like super into it super not it's definitely hard around the holidays when i'm like traveling a lot because you know it's hard to be consistent when you want to eat you know all the iconic new york foods or even when i'm back home in georgia i just want to eat like my favorite foods growing up so it's definitely hard and also like i don't have like my own kitchen and like my own stuff to like cook but i really really want to go to the grocery store today possibly it is thursday hmm that's such an awkward day to go grocery shopping um because obviously tonight we're eating out tomorrow Maybe I'm not eating out. I don't think I have plans tomorrow. Also, Saturday, I don't know if I'm vlogging it in this vlog or if I'm vlogging it at all, but we're doing a um, Christmas bar crawl here in Austin. So that's going to be very fun, but it's literally going to be like 80 degrees. Last night, my friends and I had like a cookie decorating party and we were all like freaking out because we were like, this throws off our outfits that we were thinking of. I ended up just buying like a sweater off Amazon and if it's like too thick, then I'm probably just gonna return it and not wear it. But I wanted to have something as a backup. Okay, I need to pack my bag, uh, my camera bag for my shoot, get everything ready and head out the door. I'm home for my shoot and most of my photo shoots are around Austin but this one was in a person's house so I didn't really want to film too much but last night I got all my packages from the lockers and we have a lot to go through but I also got Ryan a bunch of stuff from Aloe um, this is his early Christmas gift and <laughs> I bought it on Black Friday so I think everything was like 30-40% off and I'm so excited for him to try everything on. I really hope everything fits. But we're going to do a little Ryan Aloe try-on haul. When I ask some of my friends what their type is in a man, <laughs> there's one friend specifically that says she loves a man in aloe. And I totally agree with that. So I definitely took advantage of the sale and got like colors that I like on Ryan and like more neutral so we could like match. So Ryan's going to open the packages. You excited, Ryan? It's yeah. Christmas. 
Ooh, do you like that? Yeah. I have a black one and a blue one right now. In that, in that material? Mm -hmm. I actually see this one on Instagram all the time. Yay. Yes. That was uh, the waffle one. Yeah, I think you've sent me that one. Uh, Cute. Let me try them on. Yes. Number one. The Conquer Reform Crew Neck Long Sleeve. It's like an athletic kind of it material. Yeah. It looks really cute. It's kind of thick too, which is nice. Yeah. You're outside running. Yeah. Would you do anything outside? I guess. I don't know. He is a two XL. Yeah. In case you guys have boyfriends. They're husky. They're <laughs> 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 <And> a large man. <laughs> How tall are you? Six. Six two. So this is the same material and this is like a short sleeve version. Collection. So yeah. The Conquer Reform Crew Neck. Just a different version. color. <laughs> yeah. It's also two XL, but it feels a little it's more like tapered. Fit. Which you like, right? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't look bad in it. It looks good on you. Thanks. Still sticking with the same line. This is the Conquer Reform. But Long sleeve with the hoodie. The hoodie, yeah. And I love this color. It's like a mocha. I'm not sure if it's like picking it up, but it's brown. What is do you it? think? I don't think it's brown. It is brown. Same. He's colorblind. Espresso. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> do you like it? Yeah, I like the brown color too. It's a lot more loose fitting too. It's really mm -hmm. nice. This specific one, he's been sending me on Instagram, actually. The ads are everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> this is the micro waffle yeah. crew neck situation. Micro waffle fast break. Fast break. So it says T, but I think it's like more like kind of fleece lined also. Like t t-shirt, yeah. you mean? Is that kind of fleece lined? What do you think? Yeah. It's a little warmer than normal t-shirt. It feels like a heat tech yeah. kind of yeah, exactly. like thing. That's a patch. Very cute. Wait, show the material closer. I love it. Oh, it's getting my eyes, so it's not focused. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is the Triumph uh, Crew Neck Tee. Mm -hmm. And I already have a few of these in different colors. But this is the espresso one, a little thinner material, a little baggier fit. Which one do you prefer, the Conquer short sleeve or this one? Uh, probably this one. It's a little thinner. I can wear a hoodie over. Pretty easy. Okay, and so. He's warm all the time, so. Yeah, he is warm all the time. But the last few are the same t shirts, yeah, but just colors. like different colors. Because I feel like you like these, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm hoping I did a good I, job. They last forever, too. I've had them either one for like three years now. Yeah, really? Three years? Two, three, yeah. Like I said, same t shirt, just in a different color. This one is rust. This color is limestone. So I tried to get some neutrals, but then like the colors were more muted, you know? Not anything too crazy. <laughs> we have the last one that I got him in gravel. Also, I don't think I said this before, but this is not an ad. I'm just the best girlfriend in the world, yeah. right? Yeah, very <laughs> I love the way Alo fits compared to like Lulu. I see the actual collar fits instead of being all loose and slim fit and stuff. Like, I like the way these fit a lot more. Mm -hmm. I wear them all the time anyway, so temper and upgrade. Yay. Happy Friday. It's the next day and Ryan left super freaking early this morning. I had to take him to the airport around like, I think it was like five. I don't, I don't even know if I was awake to be honest because I came home and went right back to bed. And then I got up again at um, 6.50, did my makeup and then headed to a grad shoe at UT. Um, so I just came back from that. I wanted my makeup done because I'm getting a haircut today and I wanted to do some like before photos and videos for like TikToks and stuff. Um, but basically I just feel like my hair is number one really long, but I like it long. So I don't really want to cut off too much length, but the shortest piece is like so long. And usually I cut it at my chin, but I think I'm going to go shorter this time. I don't want to do like full on curtain bangs. Cause I know that would like really annoy me and just like be in my face all the time. But I do just want a little bit more layers. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Of course, we're going to Culture ATX. Mariana's been doing my hair for a very long time since I've been in Austin. And they also added like services like brow lamination, lash lifts and everything like that. So I'm also gonna get my brows laminated while I'm over there. So it's just like hitting two birds with one stone. Here's my before for my brows. They don't look like horrible because I tried to brush them up and like fill them in a little bit. Um, but they're gonna look so good. And I just like noticed how many little hairs that are under my um, brows. And they're of course gonna like sculpt them and you know, tweeze them and everything like that. So later today, I'm literally gonna be a whole new woman. I will say the brow lamination usually looks really funky the first day cause it's like shiny and you can't really get them wet for 24 hours. So you can't like wash them. Um, but 
I'm just very excited that I'm getting it done because it just like makes life a little bit easier. Like yes, you can brush up your brows, but then throughout the day, I feel like they just like go back to what they usually are. But like brow laminations, like they just like stick straight up. So anyways, I am gonna go head over there. I think it's like a 30-ish minute drive. I'm gonna bring like a little granola bar because I am starving. I feel like my brain thinks it's a lot later than it is since I woke up earlier because I feel like I don't even really eat this early, but let's get on the road. Did, what are these? We did the things? opposite of what Sonali wanted. <laughs> Mariana knows best. Yes. <laughs> um, we did cut off like two inches, right? Yes. And then we got some shorter, shorter little bangs. I usually put these down to my chin, but I think we did lips this time and it just feels like a lot healthier. And yes, a little layered look. I'm loving my hair. I feel like whenever you get a haircut, you just can't stop touching it because you're like, ah, it's so shiny, it smells good and it just feels like a lot healthier and lighter. I really can't wait to style it like on my own. Maybe I'll do like the Dyson Airwrap. Um, but I just got to HEB. I'm gonna do some grocery shopping. I had a granola bar today and you know how they say like don't go shopping when you're like hungry uh, and I only will be here for like a, a week or so so I don't really need that much. Um, but the other day I was like just gonna eat at home and I really just wanted soup like i've been really craving just random soups so i think i'm gonna go crazy with the soups back home and now i can really show you guys the length of my hair i think it was like kind of down here which i'm sad i lost a little bit of length but it's okay it'll grow back <laughs> i just got back from heb and i am just so happy that it's sunny out because i feel like i'm almost taking it for granted because I forgot what it was like to be in such like cloudy gloomy weather um because like literally four weeks before i like went home it was cold it was gloomy it was disgusting here and now it's like sunny and 80. <laughs> um but even in new york it was like pretty gloomy and it was pretty rainy so anyways i got chicken thighs um i decided that my juice whenever i make it is going to be a kale tonic so I'm going to do apples, cucumbers, kale. I think it calls for lemon too. It's gonna be so good. Got some bananas in case I wanna do smoothies because I think I already have frozen fruit. Also, if you guys are in Texas and go to HEB, are these bags throwing anyone else off like it is me? Because I still have like kind of a lot of the OG red bags. Like I, I mean, I've been here for a while and I feel like these bags have been here for like the three years I've lived here, kale. <laughs> and all of a sudden they decided to come out with these green ones. And every time like I see someone carrying an HEB bag, cause you know, sometimes like you reuse it to just like carry things randomly. I always think that they have Olive Garden takeout. Like why does this remind me of an Olive Garden bag? Um, I got butter chicken sauce. The one thing I really wanted was pre-made dal, which is like, lentil indian lentil kind of soup i wouldn't call it a soup maybe uh like a thicker soup anyways that's all i really wanted and of course i couldn't find it so i think i'm gonna have to go to like whole foods or central market to find it cucumbers i love this little squeezable garlic stuff i have been really liking the um rice packets like the seed of change one but i just decided to get a big bulk of brown rice because I think I'm about to run out of that and it's not super cheap to be honest um but it's so good those little packets of rice got another butter chicken if you guys have not tried Dave's Killer Bread you need to because it is so good I get the yellow one it's the good seed one there's also one that's 70 calories per slice this is 120 I used to get that one but honestly this is just a little bit more filling like I said I was craving soups and they didn't really have a great selection to be honest like I said I should have just gone to like a little bit of a nicer grocery store but i got chicken broccoli cheese and potato with chicken which you know they're probably not very healthy for me but honestly some days i just don't want to cook and i just want soup okay and then this is pasta rings i don't know i feel like it's 
SpaghettiOs kind of sounds good one night. Got some OJ, I love orange juice right now. Um, and then I got a turkey pot pie because how freaking good does that sound? And look, um, and then I got some chicken samosa. So I think this is like the only Indian thing I got. I really wanted to get some maybe frozen Indian dinners, but they didn't have any. I'm like, what the frick? My HEB is slacking. Last night when Ryan was here, I was like, I just want some tea right now. And I was like looking through my cabinets. Everything was green tea or Thai tea. And he was like, all oh, that has caffeine. Like there's no way you're gonna go to sleep. And I needed to go to sleep because I woke up really early to take him to the airport and for my shoe anyways so i realized i didn't have any sleepy time tea and sometimes i just want to be like a tea girl with like my mug and you know cuddling up on my couch so i decided to get this i've never tried this brand i've never heard of this brand it says a dip in a pool of calm and caffeine free so um chamomile vanilla and manuka honey excited to try that out got some tomatoes because i feel like a tomato sandwich just sounds so good like just very simple but like just very refreshing you know and then some avocados in case i want to do some avocado toast one day i saw a tiktok of this girl saying that sweet potatoes really helped her to lose weight because they're just so filling so i really want to kind of learn different ways of making sweet potato because i feel like i could roast them or like air fry them i'm not really sure other ways to do it i guess i can mash them but i don't know if that would be the healthiest because then i would be very tempted to put some brown sugar and butter and all that in there um but i'm gonna look up ways on tiktok and it's also funny because i feel like tiktok has definitely become my number one search engine like if i want to learn how to do anything or just like curious about something i'll literally look it up on tiktok and then i got watermelon i'm not really sure if it's in season but it looked good and that concludes this grocery haul um, and now I'm gonna put it all away. And I don't have any plans tonight. Honestly, I was gonna text my friends and ask them to maybe do dinner or something, but I think I need a night alone. <laughs> Ryan is gone and I have to just catch up on so much work. I have so much editing to do. I think I already said it in this vlog and then also just like so many emails to answer. Um, and I haven't gotten a chance to like really just sit down and you know, no interruptions, no distractions. I'm really planning on tonight just being me, my computer, my sleepy time tea, and maybe I'll cook dinner at home. Obviously, I just bought groceries, so if I don't cook dinner at home, you have permission to just slap me in the face through the computer screen. <laughs> house at like 12 it's currently 10 40 and i feel like i'm already rushed even though i'm already ready and my hair is pretty much almost done i'm currently making breakfast as we speak multitasking i still don't know what i'm wearing today because it's pretty hot out there i think it's like 80 degrees or a high of 80 and we we're all planning on wearing like sweaters but I'm not sure if that's like a good idea um, but I did order something on Amazon and I'm just going to try it on and see how thick it is. Okay, cute. There's like some creases in my hair, so I'm just going to take this New Day, apply a New Day mist and just spray it and kind of hope it goes down. <laughs> I feel like this is going to fall and be so pretty. I might brush it out a little bit. I love these bangs. We went really short this time, like I said, 
Um, usually I just get them to here. I just wanted like a little bit of change, you know? And I do feel like my hair is a little bit shorter, but I think it looks really good. Here's the fit for the bar crawl. You know, I would be more festive if the weather let me, but unfortunately, it was not in the plans. I'm trying to decide if I should wear Air Force Ones or just like white cowboy boots. I feel like both of them are very basic, especially because I live in Austin. Um, but I'm also trying to decide which headband. I think these light up. Let's see. Do I turn it on? Oh, I have to like take the tag out. Okay, I'll do it at the bar. No one's answering my Snapchats or FaceTime, so. I might have to decide on the shoes on my own, <laughs> um, but I probably have to leave soon. I just feel like this morning went by so fast. Like I thought I was gonna have more time to like chill, but I feel like that's always how it is. Um, and I don't really wanna wear this headband because I feel like my hair looks like super good on its own. I mean, I guess it doesn't really mess it up, but. Okay, I'm gonna pack my bag and then probably call Uber and Lyft. make a smoothie without the protein powder I feel like it tastes weird now <laughs> so I actually really like the texture and like taste it gives because it almost makes it a little bit sweeter too this is the protein powder I use but to be honest I'm not like a nutritionist I don't really know much about that stuff so <laughs> I'm not really sure like what is like the best protein powder but this is what I use. So you can use this as a cup and, you know, not have to make another cup dirty. But the only complaint is that my hands are so small, so I literally have to, like, either have a hand cramping or use two hands when I drink it. <laughs> Yesterday when I was making it, I added too much ice. And my teeth are still pretty sensitive. Um, if you guys are new here, I got veneers in September. Um, and... Still, when I eat like really cold things, they do not feel good. So I'm not gonna add ice today. I just put on a little bit of makeup and this is my outfit for the day. Very chill, very casual, very comfy. Um, these are my Amazon Ugg dupes. They literally look like real Uggs. I feel like so many people have been like, oh my God, you got them? And I'm like, no, 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 these are not real, but <laughs> they are so good and they're the platforms. So I'm going to link it down below if you guys are interested because I think they still have like all the sizes. I just have my little tote bag with my computer and everything. I usually just bring my base computer bag, but tote bags are just so much more convenient and a lot less heavy. You know what makes me really happy, guys? This. The sun. The sun. Today is like the first sunny day in so long and it just makes me freaking happy. And it's gonna feel really good to get out of the house because I feel like the last couple of days I have been just chilling by myself and sometimes you don't even realize how harmful it can be just to be by yourself even though you don't realize it in the moment but then once you get out of your house you're just like wow this feels so good I think it's about like a 15 minute drive to Swedish Hill so let's get going <music> Literally, it feels like a year ago. This is my birthday present. <laughs> birthday slash yes. Christmas. Shut up. Wait, I don't even know what it Wait, this is so cute. I know these books. And it's green. I know. It just looks like you. I love coffee table books. <laughs> I know. Who doesn't? She's open. Ew, is that weird that my nail can do that? Like, <laughs> is that bad? Yeah. Wait, this is so it matches your matcha. I know, it's very matcha <laughs> green. 
This is so cute. Thank so you. Cute. Sweet. This is so cute. And I went to Italy this year. I feel like it's perfect. Yeah. Thank you. It was so good to catch up with Andy and I freaking love my book. I literally was just thinking the other day because I brought my coffee table books out from my shelf in my office to put on my actual coffee table um and i was like i need to get more of these that's just such a thoughtful gift and i love it um and now i'm gonna go to target because number one i think i want to get some christmas pjs for tonight number two i need to get some snacks for tonight i brought all of my computer stuff brought my headphones which i always forget and of course i forgot the one hard drive that the new york city vlogs were on because i was going to finish up editing that but i didn't get to do what I was supposed to do, but I did um, resubmit a brand TikTok. Um, it's like my first time submitting through the TikTok creator marketplace, which is like so weird. Um, but they just keep changing the caption. They're like, oh, wait, we kind of want this caption instead. I'm like, why couldn't you have told me that <laughs> before? Every time I have to redo all of the um, like actual captions on the video like every single word i say not that i type it all out because it like obviously does the ai thing but a lot of the words are not what i'm actually saying so i have to redo all the mistakes every single time so i'm really hoping that this is the last time that i have to resubmit um and i really want to start posting on reels more i saw a tiktok this morning i feel like i referenced tiktok a lot but like i'm on it a lot to be honest <laughs> this one girl was like what if we put in the same energy we do into TikTok on our Instagram? And she saw really good results. So I think I kind of want to start doing that, even though I feel like that's going to be bombarding my followers a lot. But I feel like my Instagram followers and TikTok followers are kind of different because people on Instagram have been following me for a really long time. And like the TikTok people are like way newer. So I don't really know if they like follow me on both i mean there has to be some people that follow me on both so they'll be kind of annoyed and i'm sorry about that but if i'm like creating all this content like why not put it on all of the platforms you know and i'm starting to upload all my tiktoks to pinterest slowly but surely so hopefully that helps too pulled into target's parking lot and i came across a store called austin gift company and i kind of want to go in it because i really want to find like an austin ornament and i'm really not sure where to find that i feel like this could be the best possible place to look for it so i'm just gonna walk in and then we'll go into target and see their christmas stuff and obviously get some snacks like i said I'm home, I got all the groceries in, and I came in and it was 75 degrees in my apartment because I left the heat on. And it was so hot because it's so sunny today that like the sun kind of just heats up my apartment too. So that was not fun. I am trying to like cool down my place. That's why the door's open, <laughs> like all the fans are on. Um, but I cleaned the countertops and I like set out everything I wanted to um, put out tonight. So all of this, and then I got four frozen pizzas and then like cookies and little fun snacks. So I know my friends love chips and salsa. And then I wanted to show you guys my white elephant gift. I don't know if this like makes sense. I just wanted to do like a cute like pink stuff box. And I was inspired by this. I actually saw this on Amazon. And this is like cleaning paste, which I would be stoked to get because I've actually never tried this, but I've heard such good things about it. Also don't mind my nail because I chopped it off when I was chopping onions, so lovely. I am trying to wait as long as I can to get them fixed because they're kind of grown out, but like honestly, you can't really tell from far away. And then I have this stuff I just got at Target to fill the box. Of course, the heatless hair curler thing that I'm so freaking passionate about. And then a little pink lighter because I also don't have an electric pink lighter. And I thought this was cute and very like practical. Not that like this is my gift, but I just thought that would be cute. And then I got some gel eye masks and this and i thought it would be funny to put in here so i'm gonna assemble this later so i actually ended up getting these mini lights which i hope works 
um, because I have that garland, but I don't have like lights for the garland and I feel like that would make it a lot more Christmassy if I actually had Christmas lights. And I also got this. I don't think I would consider this a tree, but I have ornaments that I want to put somewhere. And last year I put it on the garland, but it just like wasn't the vibe. So I got this tree just to like hang my like three ornaments that I have. I'm gonna go get the garland out and we can start decorating. Our apartment has this linen closet and we just throw literally everything and anything here. We have our hamper. This is like Ryan's second closet because he does have the smaller closet. So he just puts like some random stuff in here, towels. And I've been just throwing a lot of random shit in the back corner. Um, but up there is the Christmas stuff. So time to get it down. Uh. Oh, no, no. This is so pretty but it's so glittery and falls like every single time maybe i should like get some adhesive spray and just like spray it the frick down because it's so annoying how much of it comes off okay i think that's it this little guy how freaking cute is this so like one year after Christmas, me and Ryan just went to Hobby Lobby and like Target and we got a couple of things on sale. It was like 50% off or more. So that is definitely a hack, a very inconvenient hack because obviously we couldn't use it that year, but now we can use it. So I'm definitely gonna go again this year um, after Christmas and maybe just get like a few more ornaments because ornaments are like not cheap. At least like the really cute ones, the really nice ones. Um, and so we can like stock up for the next year. Obviously, I don't want to get too much because I don't really have that much storage, but all right, let's find a place for this. I kind of feel like it would be cute, like, right next to the mirror because it's tall. I don't really want to put it on an elevated surface when it's already super tall. I also need to put these away. I feel like we're definitely done with pumpkin season, which is kind of sad. They're really cute. A lot of this Christmas stuff is kind of annoying to get out and, like, put away because there's so much shit that comes off of it like this is a little bit flocked and it definitely comes off when it's like slightly touched i'm kind of glad i'm having friends over because it like forces me to put this stuff up and at first i was not going to but then i realized we're having a white elephant and i literally have not decorated at all which is so sad and i want to make it feel like christmasy so that is why I'm doing all this. I'm going home on Monday, so at first I was like, what is the point? But now that I'm having a little party, oh, there is a point. <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh, guys, I got red freaking lights. Shit. Are they gonna be so ugly? I really wanted like cute little warm white lights. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> This is sad because the ornament is like bigger than the tree. All of these ornaments are so freaking large. I just made lunch, which is this, samosas. And thank God for frozen food, but most importantly, Indian frozen food because I actually made samosas once. I don't know if I'll ever do it again because it literally took six hours and me and Ryan ate it all in like 10 minutes probably five minutes realistically. I was like, are you kidding me? Like I did all that work for like five minutes of eating. And I feel like that's honestly how cooking is just in general, but um, yeah, never again. So just gonna buy frozen samosas for now. Um, but I love eating samosas with Maggie sauce, even though this came with cilantro something, cilantro sauce, but this is the best. I'm also running out, so I'll just like use it and buy more it's gonna be so good now it is so cold in my apartment <laughs> i feel like i just go back and forth but i haven't really gotten outside in a minute i've been like attached to my computer just trying to edit a vlog but i feel like the vlogs aren't doing very well if i post them later at night so i think i'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to post it but i thought we could go outside and just get a little fresh air see the city sunset's happening too I need to do a quick clean 
put some dishes away that are in the dishwasher, do some dishes. It is 5.35 and I think they're coming at 6.30 so I have about an hour. I'm going to put the pizzas in like 30 minutes before and then light some candles, make it a little cozy vibes. I'm not sure if we're like watching a Christmas movie or just like hanging out, listening to Christmas music, doing our way at Elephant. Um, but maybe I should just like have Christmas movies on or just pick them out like as a backup. Playing Morgan Wallman on Spotify. Okay, so the pizzas are all out and I'm gonna put them in like when they're kind of close by because I know they get here at different times so I don't want to be like be downstairs getting them when the timer goes off and then I put out some peppermint bark so yum I do have cookies I need to make the cookies I also got these cookie dough bites which I'm so excited to try honestly I love hosting because I can buy shit like this and like try a little bit and see if I like it and like not have to eat the whole thing if I don't and I also got these We all picked our numbers. <laughs> Number one. And our presents. <laughs> and we're watching Alpha. You can't pick your own. Yep. Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you touch it? <laughs> she touched it. it. <laughs> no, you can. I know you can. Um, I think you're gonna have to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Oh, it's beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets. What is it? Oh, it's like a, um, it's like a Bucky's. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've heard of that. Yum. <laughs> and then a Bucky's mud. Oh, that's funny. And then hair treatment. Ooh, and then hot cocoa. I got it. <laughs> Loved it. Wait, I can't touch. You can touch. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to do this one because it's wrapped all cool. Oh, wait, so is yours. No. <laughs> it's Mackenzie. Is it tuna? Look at your hands. Is it tuna? It could be tuna. Why could it be tuna? Okay, hands are tuna. Oh, wait. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay, we got some shea butter, body butter. Ooh, mm. that's fine. Mm. We got a sniffer. Sniffer. <laughs> we got a sniffer. Quick. Easy, like a easy yeah, one. Yeah, no, and it was good. It's, it's, yeah, we should play it. Yeah, we should play it. The reason I got it is I was watching Four Christmases and they play it in it. Oh, we got yeah, really? Oh, we have oh. a scenty thing. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a diffuser. Ooh. It says Jasmine something. Trip you out. Mm. I didn't have, I didn't have a bag. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a puzzle or something. Mm. It's like really like a, it's like a TikTok thing. <laughs> no. Oh, oh the curler. I think I just saw you use this. I, I literally right? almost gave that as a gift. That's I, such I a good one. I'm very passionate about it. So Ooh, I just bought one. 
some eye masks. Ooh, another face mask. No, read that one. Read it. What does it say? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? A vagina? It's a oh vagina! Oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh okay, good. <laughs> I thought it was something inappropriate. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Yay. I like it. Game time. And I love lotion. You're evil. <laughs> Mine kind of trips you out. Okay. Some body cream and some body oil. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. oh, we have one more left. Dun, dun, dun. Make it fun. Make it fun. Fuck! <laughs> 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 Because it's all pink, isn't it? Yeah. That's <laughs> um. Okay. Let's. Let's. Let me see yours. Okay. I'm gonna Ten. See. <laughs> yes. Let me oh, see. Oh, <laughs> that's so that's cute. Really cute. <laughs> oh, yum. Oh, well, yeah. Yay. Me too. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. Uh, I really wanted one. My gift got stolen. Yeah, three times, so two now, times or three times. Going? When it's Christmas day and you want to use your toys <laughs> right after you open it. Literally me, I always cannot wait. I'm like always so excited, but I really, really wanted this. <laughs> Yay. Guys. Take two of these reactions. No, those are so good. <laughs> it's like the perfect little bite size. It's like, so good. <gasps> okay, give us your reactions, ladies. It's so mode. good. Do you love? Oh my gosh, okay, let's try the brownies. <laughs> okay. It took a while for the flavor to hit my tongue. Okay. Don't say anything. Let's see. Oh, that's a snowman buttons. Mhm. Mhm. It kind of takes a while to like for the flavor to hit. <laughs> not, as not as like wowing as the cookie dough ones though. Are these not cookie dough ones? No, these are brownie ones. Not as good as cookie dough. Damn. <laughs> 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 they won. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. One one I kinda one knew. One? one? Wait, we were 27. We were 27. You're joking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, we just played Taboo. Wow, I'm kind of mad. <laughs> hey y'all, it is a couple days later. It's actually Saturday and I wanted to add to this vlog. I'm going to be honest, I haven't really been in the best mindset. I feel like I've just been getting extreme imposter syndrome about just everything and just not feeling my best and definitely not wanting to vlog today. I'm feeling so much better so I wanted to take advantage and like film a bunch of content um, because I'm going home on Monday. I have a try on haul for you guys. I purchased some stuff on Meshki during their Black Friday sale and I'm just now getting to open it. Um, so I thought I would show you guys some really good basics that I'm adding to my wardrobe and then I also got my Joe's jeans and if you guys watch my New York vlogs that's all I wanted was like a good pair of jeans and I unfortunately didn't get it in New York but I found this perfect style of jeans online so we're gonna try it on together and decide if we like it for the price point because it's kind of expensive but I feel like I can justify jeans because I wear them all the freaking time especially if I have like one pair of favorite jeans I never take them off and today at 5 p.m. I'm gonna meet my friends for a happy hour at my favorite sushi spot Soto and I'm really happy that I'm gonna be getting out of the house because I think that's what's causing all of these like thoughts to come into my mind and like the whole imposter syndrome thing um I think I just need to leave my house to be honest because I feel like I've been alone for a little bit um, and it's it's not good for this. So we're going to change that today, but let me show you guys what I got from Meshki. So everything I bought are just like really high quality basics. What I love about this shirt is that they have thumb holes. I kind of think this is like an active wear top if I'm not mistaken, um, but I love the way it like snatches me. I hadn't really heard that many people talk about this online website, but I was amazed by the quality, so I knew I'd definitely be buying again from the site. Here's the next top. It is a crop top and it has this ribbed material. The material on all these shirts, even if it's not ribbed, is like 
really thick and almost like tight. It definitely fits when it's on your body, but just want to let you guys know that you will <laughs> find that it's a little bit tight when you first get it on. Next one's the same material, just in a t-shirt crop. And this reminds me of an aloe shirt I have, which I wear all the freaking time. It's pretty much exactly the same. I did get a little makeup on it because I was like trying not to mess up my hair trying to put it on. Next up, we have the same rib material, just in a different kind of style. This one is a razorback bodysuit. We have another white bodysuit, but this one's high neck. And also it has this like interesting texture on the front. I guess you could consider this ribbed. I saw something similar to this bodysuit on Abercrombie and I really wanted it. But by the time I decided to like purchase it, my size was out of stock, of course. So when I saw this on Meshki, I was like, I need to get that. But the only complaint I would have is the boob cups are just like really not that big. <laughs> my boob ends like here and I got a breast reduction. So like... You know, if you have like bigger boobs than me, definitely don't get this because it's just like so teeny tiny. I'm like, hello, not cool. Um, luckily, you can't really see that my boob ends there, so like it's fine. But I think this would be a perfect going out top in the winter, especially because it's like super thick, like sweater thick, and it just like snatches you. It looks really good. Here's the last shirt I got. Honestly, it might be my favorite. I really like this material. It's not as tight and it's not as thick and it has these little thumb holes, which I freaking love. It is cropped. It's not a bodysuit. It's not like a long shirt like the first black one was. I got two like jacket kind of things, I guess. I feel like every oversized blazer reminds me of Hailey Bieber. I don't know if I would wear these jeans with it because I feel like it's just like too baggy all over. But it would be really cute with like some heels maybe. Last but not least, I got a trench coat. I don't think I own a trench coat. Let me put this down so you guys can see like full length. It's pretty dang long on me. Like it kind of cuts off at my ankles. Well, actually a little bit above my ankles, but I really like it. I feel like all like faux leather things though, they do have like an interesting smell when you first get them. I wouldn't say this like is super fishy or anything, but it did have like a weird, weird smell. Um, but so cute. I'm like obsessed with this color. Like it's just such a good tan. I'm going to have everything linked down below as usual. And now let's try on the jeans. These are the jeans I found online that I thought were just so perfect. They were everything I was looking for. Straight leg, really no rips, and then a raw hem, which was honestly the most important part. So first I wanna try on the sizes I got. I got 132, 131, and we're gonna see which fits better. These jeans retail for $218, which is definitely the most I've ever spent on a pair of jeans, but look how good they look. Love how they make my butt look because my butt is usually flat, and I feel like they're doing something. The only problem is that I am 5'3", and they're so long on me. Like, I'm definitely gonna have to cut them. These have been my go-to jeans. They're from Zara, but they're very stiff. I really do like the way they look, except for the fact that they have huge rips in them, because I'm just like over rips right now. And then also, I just feel like they're really baggy on me, and this is a US size 12. I remember going into a store and trying on the size below, and they were just like super, super tight, so. I decided to just stick with the baggy ones, but I feel like I'm pretty comfortable in the 31, and this is my usual size. I feel like whenever I online order something, especially this expensive, I order like two sizes um, just to make sure that I'm getting the right size before I really, you know, make the commitment to the price tag. Here are the size 32s, which also feel really comfortable. But they are a little bit baggy in the crotch, so I definitely feel like I should go for the 31s, but I do love like just baggy feeling jeans because they're just, there's just so much room, you know? It looks like I have to cut off kind of a lot. Um, so I think I'm just gonna draw on it with some lip liner. What do we think? Like I still want them to be pretty long on me and obviously we can always go shorter, but we can't add on material so let's start a little bit smaller i definitely still have to cut more but it's a good start 
Here's what they look like after the second cut and honestly I think I want to stop here because I love when jeans are a little bit long so that you could wear heels and they're like perfectly just straight um, and I kind of just like long jeans anyways but I think this is a great length so I'm so happy I found these jeans. Again I'm going to link everything in the video down below and now I'm going to figure out what to wear for sushi tonight and then just like refresh myself because I feel like my makeup has been on my face the whole day and I just need a little spritz or something. Here's the outfit of the night. I actually recently got this sweater at Target. It is literally so perfect. It's like this chunky, like mock neck vibe. I love it so much. And then I'm wearing these like leather pants. They're like leather jeans kind of from Abercrombie from a while ago. And then some boots, which I don't really know where they're from because they're pretty old as well. 